Okay, if you spent the last year becoming one with your couch, <laughs> you might want to start small when it comes to getting back in shape. Chiropractor Stephen Gray is here with some moves to build your strength and get you back on your feet. All right, Stephen, let's start with some very small changes people can do to start becoming more and more active. And your first tip involves setting an alarm. Another alarm? <laughs> well, okay. So I find one of the most underutilized, but one of the most useful and cheap tools that everyone has is an alarm on their smartphone, even on your microwave. And just setting an alarm once an hour to remind yourself to get up, to get moving, just take a quick walk around your space, do a quick aerial, whatever it takes, just to like get yourself to change the pace. Even going from a sitting position to a standing position, a sitting desk to a standing desk would be a great option. Stephen, if I try that, I'll really be seeing you. Yeah, at no, the, end of the, the, the next reminder I'll be setting is to call 911, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, and if you need more of a challenge, I don't know how after that, but uh, you can actually take it up a notch uh, with a yoga ball. Yeah, so this is another great option. Yoga balls are super cheap. You can blow them up at home. Uh, this is mine. But just going and doing your work position, sitting on that yoga ball, it's going to force you to engage your core and just work a little harder just to stay squared and centered on that ball. And that's a great place to start with using your core more throughout the day instead of getting in that slouch position where you've sort of got all those muscles just kind of turned off. All right. Okay. Next up, exercising while sitting down. If we're not ready to go on the core ball just yet, back to the couch. Uh, what can we do uh, while we're sitting down? I'm for this. <laughs> yeah, so this is when I, gr I give beginners. It's a modification that I've taken from my Pilates teacher training. And essentially, you're going to be using your core while coordinating other movement. And that's one of the biggest things I find with sort of an older population or someone new to working out is being able to engage your core while you're moving your extremities. And so this one goes like this. You're sitting on the edge of your chair, nice and upright. Get that neutral spine, that little curve in your low back. And then from here, you're going to draw that belly button in, hands on your waist to remind yourself to engage that core where you're grabbing. And from here, you're going to start the coordination, which is basically marching on the spot. You're just lifting that thigh up and only lifting that thigh. So you want to stay away from any of that sort of pelvic rocking or even that slouching and bringing it into your spine. You want to be able to engage that core, not hold your breath, breathe, and then start to begin that movement. And that's a great place to start if you want to do something like Pilates or just an at-home workout safely. I like it. It's a power pose. I, I feel very powerful. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, this really isn't, I think, anybody's favorite, but it is so important when it comes to functional uh, movement. Uh, tell us about uh, the dreaded squat. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why people always shy away from a squat. It's, it's very normal. We do it as humans naturally. It's part of our everyday movement. And as you said, it's very functional. And so, again starting on the chair and so a chair or if you're really beginner maybe a stool just to start a little higher up but again starting on the edge feet not too far away but firmly planted if you need for safety have a chair or a counter or something in front of you that you can use to help um, encourage yourself to lift up but from here turning on that core breathing so don't hold your breath and then from there you're going to be squeezing the glutes as you stand up so you're trying to avoid creating momentum with that torso rock that I see a lot of our geriatric population and clinic do when they're coming in to see me. But also you wanna be using the correct muscles. And so one cue, not to make you blush, Carolyn, but I always say, squeeze the butt cheeks, squeeze the butt cheeks. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm not the one blushing. He's the one blushing. <laughs> All right, put your pantry to good use with an arm workout using cans. Yeah, over the pandemic, I saw a lot of people getting creative, which I love to see. And so on YouTube, you can find a lot of great videos that are short, like a five minute video really can burn, get that workout in your arms and your upper back. So I've got today, I'm repping my Canadian pride with a can of pure maple syrup. It's got a nice hefty weight to it. And you're going to be leaning over a chair, extending that arm. And from here, you're drawing that shoulder blade back and then drawing that elbow into that rib cage, keeping it close to the body and then a slow controlled release. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna start to bring a little bit of strength and shorten up those muscles in the back that are kind of overstretched when we're over that computer, or on our tablet or on our phone. It's gonna bring them back and bring some endurance and some strength back into those. And you can find a lot of great videos on YouTube for these. 
You know, the only problem with bicep curls with maple syrup is I'm just thinking about pancakes. <laughs> Nothing but pancakes every time. Yeah, so. I mean, All right, for more, check out Stephen on Instagram at madetomove.ca. Stephen, good to see you this morning. You too. Thank you.